We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. It's Burrow staying on his feet. And he's going to be brought down back at his own six-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football. But maybe more importantly, here we go, here the we blitz go. that came defensively, they got right after it. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. Here's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. 25 yards there on the catch and run. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Hassan Reddick gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that yeah. down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Inside the 20, Joe Mixon. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Joe Mixon, 74 yards. And the Bengals put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. A solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. They had three tight ends in on that set, and they were really good at blocking for their running back. And give them a lot of credit because in football nowadays, tight ends coming out of college often don't block very often. These guys have really developed into superior blockers, and that's why they use them in this formation so often. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And some room to maneuver. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. They run out of the gun with Swift. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Throwing his hurts. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Shuffle pass here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Here's Swift, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of two there, second down. The defense was ready for the run pass option, diagnosed it perfectly. Not only did they stack him up at the point of attack, but he was met by a host of light-colored jerseys. Hurts. That is incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. It'll be Hurts on the option. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And the first play will be a field goal try from the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Here we go, here we go. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Burrow on play action. Rolling to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. I thought at first he tried to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. One more, ready? An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Officially nothing on that with no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. On third down, Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback 
and knocking him into an incompletion. Second and 10 now, Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, the great coaches say football is a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush one hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Again, it's Burrow. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Great first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now the Bengals are gonna use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. From the 44-yard line, here's second down at seven. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And A.J. going to pick up an Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 47-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. Now a second and six. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Olamide Zacchaeus. 43 yards, and the Eagles have taken the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Touchdown. Here's Elliott on to kick it away. 
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession in the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Burrow will throw. This is caught. It's boy to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Bengals gonna use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Boyd's the target, and he has it over the middle. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football back at their own 17. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play would be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. And they'll come up second and seven. From the gun, it's Hurts. Completes to Zacchaeus. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, 
They've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They go play action with Hurts. Forced out to his left. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 38-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From the gun, here's Swift. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now back to throw. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. From the four, it's second and a couple. Here's a handoff to Swift. And that is not going to get it done either. Once again, he's stopped behind the line by this Bengals D. 
They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Uh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This time it's third and three. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. So the snap will come from the three, but remember, they don't need the touchdown. They can get the first down if they get a yard, and the ball gets to the two. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Gainwell is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. And as this drive began, the offense had to be thinking touchdown, knowing the situation. Even after that loss, touchdown still on their minds. This is a one-possession game. A field goal doesn't do them a whole lot of good. Hurts. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts fighting A.J. Brown. And the Eagles will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in about a time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. And it's no good. No, he misses the extra point. And our score stays right where it is. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. On one, ready? They'll come up first and 10 here. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Looking deep here for Chase. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. It's Sidney Brown with it. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 79 yards on the ground here for Swift. He's got a first down as well. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. 
This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. On third down, here comes Swift. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it off from here. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, on one side of this, Charles, an impressive victory. On the other, I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'll be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime. You do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL.